because both of you deal, maybe I'll go back to you, Michael, both kinds of artists, as it were, deal with light on the surface and light from the inside, as it were. Yeah. How do you deal with surfaces and interiors with a, as a lighting designer? Well, I think, again, it goes back to this business of understanding the play or the source, if you like to call it that. Um, I think the, how can we put this? Um, I think that the old business of it all starts with the text and you have to develop what I would call the sort of the core ideas out of the play. In other words, I mean, people are nowadays, they're very big on this term concept. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to use this concept or that concept. Uh, okay, concepts are fine as long as they are actually developed from within the play. And by that I mean that you know a character or an interaction between characters or a situation that the characters are in. Could you give me an example from a recent production you've been doing? Well, I'm just thinking. I mean, a, a, a Chekhov is a, is an amazing playwright because there is so much under the surface, and I think that when you're lighting, say, a, a, a typical Chekhov play, you've got to understand all about those people and the world in which they live in order to create. A world in which they can, I mean, a world of light in which they can actually believably exist. And it's sort of, it's in my opinion anyway, a lot of Chekhov is kind of what I call the soft edges, but sort of like contrast between dark and light, light and shadows. Um, I did The Seagull not very long ago, and it works through a number of situations where you've got like real time, first of all, in the sense of, you know, the setting sun and so on. You've also got sort of abstractions like um, the play, the Treplev play with the devil's eyes and this kind of thing. And I think it, it, it's got to feel as though those characters are at home in the environment of light that you've created. You can't just impose an environment on them. Oh, yeah, it's going to be this wonderful sunset or whatever it happens to be. There's got to be a sense that what is happening on that stage is actually completely right for the characters, and I'm talking now in terms of an environment of light. Do you mean it like naturalistic? In That's that sense, mean. naturalistic, or or even the fact that if you if you if your director says I'd like to take this a little bit, sort of into a sense of uh, what we could call maybe even expressionistic. You know, there's got to be a little edge there. You've still got to work from the point of view of of taking the basis of those characters and the world that they live in, and it's like oil lamps and it's you know natural daylight. And it's something to do with Russian light, you know, that sort of northern light kind of thing. All these factors, I think, have to come into the quality that you create. Beyond that, I mean, the, the idea of like, like you then you can take your external elements and apply them. So, I mean, if it is a sunset or if it's a sunrise or whatever it happens to be, um, it is... Uh, what would you call it, certain things about the angle of the light, the speed at which the light changes, all these things, which are kind of the natural world. But if it's, a, for example, a Chekhov play, a, probably a sunset would linger in a way that no absolutely real sunset would linger because that's the nature of those characters, that they're, they're living in this kind of strange half-and-half -half world often. 